I feel like in a lot of ways, uh, historically, we've done a lot of live streams and we're winging it. And I think sometimes that's that's fun and that's great. Maybe you're gonna get some really good content out of it. But I think there's, um, I, what I'm seeing a lot of is a lot of people firing up their microphones and their cameras and just chatting and really not thinking how this content that you're actually recording is more than just about the moment itself. What I really try to focus on is I look at the content that I'm doing as it's gonna be here long after I'm dead. So when you think about that, it's like, okay, well you treat it with a little bit more, uh, it's a little more serious, right? And so I start to think about all of these people that are constantly guesting on podcasts all the time, like, you know, because that's what you're supposed to do, put in the reps, get on shows, get on shows. And so they're, they're, they're you know, doing 60 shows in 80 days or whatever, and they've got, they're on a bunch of people's podcasts, but they're just doing the show and then that's it. Like that's their marketing where, you know, if you're thinking about something in the future and saying, well, what if I were to go on somebody else's show, but I'm recording everything myself. I have all of the content right here myself. And so if you think about that, if I know that I can use everything that I say afterwards, wouldn't you have more of a purpose in what you're doing? with repurposing. So the number one thing when it comes to planning your content is you gotta make sure before you repurpose that you have a purpose. Lots of people, if, if they have services that they're selling or a book that they're, they're wanting, say JP Hightech's got a new book uh, you know, coming out. So he's gonna be on a slew of shows, right? Why doesn't he, and, and is, because we've already talked to him about being on our show, He's asking and I'm asking when I'm on shows and we're asking when we're on each other's shows like, hey, what is your audience host? How can I serve your audience? What kind of problems do they have? Do some research on your own. So you're developing content that speaks and serves that audience. And so when you're recording all of the stuff that you're doing, you don't have just this, you're not just saying the same thing every single time you go live. You just have a different shirt on with all of this content. No, you're serving different audiences. So you're saying you generally have the same mission. You generally have the same vision. You have the same thing that you want to accomplish, but you're speaking to different audiences in a different way. And you can use differing and varying types of content that really kind of say the same thing and encapsulate your brand and what you're trying to achieve. That's really the first thing when it comes to preparing for uh, creating content that you can repurpose. And the only way that you're gonna get seen and heard is to carve your path, to carve the path for your audience, to serve the people who will follow you and what you're trying to achieve. And so you have to stay, stay laser focused on it and you don't have to do every single thing that everybody else is doing because they had success and they're taken. You don't try not to be a, a fax copy of a Xerox copy of a written napkin of somebody else who's successful because it doesn't work. What does work is to focus on, on, on doing something for the people you serve and that is powerful. That's, that's what purpose is. And so um, that will drive your content. Will it get you a viral video? I don't know, maybe, but I, I think you're gonna be able to sleep at night knowing you're not just trying everything and nothing is working for you.